Hi, I'm Adam Tangersley. I work here at Montgomery Park's Pope Farm Nursery. I'm a tree nursery supervisor, and Pope Farm is the grower of plant material for the close to 44,000 acres that Montgomery Parks manages. We've been around for 50 years. We've always experimented with different cover crops. We use sunflower in our cover crop rotation. The variety of sunflower that we grow is called black oil. It's actually not for the flower or the seed head. It's actually for what the root system does beneficially for our, our soils. The benefit to pollinators and birds is just a secondary benefit that we get from it. We're up to about 20% of our property in cover crops, and what they are doing is they are repairing and rehabbing our soils as naturally as possible before we need to use fertilizer. When this sunflower is done, uh, in another month or so, it'll be bush hogged, mowed down, and the our fall cover crop that'll follow this will be a mixture of daikon radish and crimson clover. Land that's in renovation will be cover crop for two to four years before being transitioned back into growing trees. At the beginning of the process, we take a soil test to see where we're at, and then two to four years after that, we do another one to see how successful we are, and then we do a very prescribed fertilizer application based on that, that data. Well, one, so that we don't waste uh, fertilizer or waste the cost of putting down something that we don't need. Each parcel will get one to two crops per year and each is planted in either late spring or early fall depending on what it is and what we're trying to accomplish with that crop. Three quarters of the cover crops that we grow each year are the same from year to year. It's something that we've been successful with or something that's very predictable, but we always have about a quarter of what we grow as something new, something that we haven't experimented with yet, or we are creating our own mixes to try to do two tasks at the same time. 